chat wasn't there. So it's here now. Damn it. All right, this piece of crap. Um, yeah, we're, I need to put hard drive. This thing is so weirdly shaped. Look, 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 look. Alienware, everybody. Uh, oh God, you gotta love that straight side. Of course, the side that has to lay flat when you service it is like all lumpy and weird. And the side right here is a little less lumpy and weird. Australia is here. Hello, hello everybody. Um, I I have kind of started to just do random live streams because uh, why not? I'm not making real videos and I'm working. People are paying me to pretend to work. So why not show you what I do? Uh, <laughs> and I have a little bit of a problem already. So I've opened this and when I opened it, I immediately closed it, called my psychiatrist to get more meds. I don't have a psychiatrist, but it's funny to say it. And uh, decided you, you all really needed to see this thing. So I don't know how many of you saw that video I did about the Dell XPS 8100. Probably not a lot of you, but um, if you if you took the Dell XPS 8100 desktop, okay, if you took that computer and you made a gaming computer with the same stupid internal setup, oh my god. Just, okay, all right, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open it and just, uh, good luck even getting it shut. It shuts the same way. It's basically the same computer inside, except with an even uglier case. Now, I know the customer has tried to do their own hard drive thing. Good for them. They gave up and I can see why. So, <laughs> I hate these computers. Um, so, Everything is toolless and yet not toolless. There's so much wrong here, and I, I really hate it. Oh God, I hate it. Uh, where do you even begin with this crap? So there's latches on the back here, one of which isn't latched. That's fun. Um, supposedly to get into the thing, but uh, I've never been in one of these, and I don't ever want to now that I've seen it. So. This video card thing supposedly will come up, and yet it won't. It's just kind of stuck because, you know, why are there even clips there if it doesn't do anything, guys? Come on. Piece of shit. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, look at this toolless design, everyone. Look at this toolless. Oh, it comes up that way. Hey, and it'll block the camera. Good. You don't deserve to see water cooling. Are you kidding? All right. All right, yeah, maybe uh, maybe this was a mistake. Hold on, I need a screwdriver. Uh, so, oh, by the way, solid state memory sticks, if you can put them in, good. And then other memory sticks that I guess were taken out earlier. Here's a hard drive they want in as well. Here's a brand new hard drive that they want in as well. Now, astute, observant viewers will notice a minor problem with the way this is set up and what they want. There's a two and a half bay here, a two and a half bay here, and over here is a three and a half bay that someone has abused. And um, here's a three and a half drive. Here's a three and a half drive. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Why they need that much storage, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, yeah. At least they got a solid state for me to put everything on. Okay, so I don't even know what to do first with this. Uh, do we do we deal with this mangled friggin' what is going on here? And why does what? Yep. Okay, it just fell right down in there, didn't it? We're gonna have to deface the computer to get it back. There you are, you delicious bastard. Oh, come back, come back. If you don't magnetize your screwdrivers, you're an idiot. Oh man, what a piece of junk. What a And I don't have lighting set up here. This this is not this is the most just random video setup, so I'm sorry it's dark and ugly. But why are there screws on this bay if you can't pull the stupid bay up? Or is it this thing that's been utterly okay. 
Well, that just comes out, so never mind. What am I doing? Why am I even bothering? Okay, you can go back now. You can go live back down there. I don't give a rat's ass. I don't like you anyway, you piece of garbage. I really need to get a wider angle lens. I was actually looking. There's a very nice lens Panasonic just uh, announced, but they haven't actually hit B&H and they're like $600. So people need to give me lots and lots of money so I can get that 10 millimeter F1.7. I've got the 12 millimeter F2.8 here right now. But a 10 would be perfect. I have a 7.5, but it's um, ultra, ultra wide. It's really a semi fisheye. It's too much. It's just too much for this, but the 10 would be beautiful. So, anyway, I need to get one drive here. That's not going to be a problem. <sighs> Who the hell designed this? What? know if Dell did this or if the customer did this, but there's a power supply extender in here. There's an, an actual, honest to God, power supply extender in this case. Like, really, though? Where, why? Why is the, why? I, I don't, I don't understand this. I'm a little confused. I'm sorry, bros and broettes. I'm going to start saying that from now on. But, like, this looks like it... Why is there an extender? What is this doing? Oh, it's not an extender. What is it tapping? Why is it ta... Are you kidding me right now? Oh, my God. So, at least they don't have this hidden, like, on the XPS 8100, right? But, um... Alright, I have to pull this out just so I can... Sh this has to be a factory thing. This has to be... And it's stupid! It's so stupid. Okay. What is this? Does, all right. Just get, you get out of the way, you bulky POS. What is this? What is this? What is this thing? It's it's a power tap. It's a tap. So you have this, right? It goes to the motherboard. It gives the motherboard 12 volts, right? That's pretty straightforward. At least I thought it was pretty straightforward. But no. We are tapping the 12 volt that goes to the motherboard connector for the extra, the extra power can, oh, and there's only four pins on it too. So we're just sort of relocating that to the other side of the board. We're not, I quit, I quit, I quit, I quit. I guess it would be unprofessional to quit, so I'm gonna move on, but why, what, what, why? Why is this a thing? I've never seen anything like this before. I've never seen that before. Who, what, oh my God. It has, it has a Dell part number. It has a, Dell did this. Dell did that. Dell did. All right. There's only one way to handle this. There's only one way that I can move on with this job, be professional, and it's not the Taco Bell chime that just came from my phone. I win. Give me back my chime. You don't deserve, you don't deserve the Angry Bird. By the way, I just watched the Angry Birds movie recently. That was very interesting. This is actually really, this is really frustrating for me. I'm sorry, I've been ignoring the chat the whole time. I'm sorry. This is, this is very frustrating. This is not, this is not, this is the kind of thing that someone who knows just enough to be dangerous splices together to make a thing work. You, you have, a power tap for a thing that's supposed to be an extra power connector for a powerful CPU. You have water cooling. Water cooling. Water cooling. Water cooling. Look, let me let me just just real quick. Let me show you where I have needed water cooling. Okay, I have needed water cooling for this thing. This thing right here. Do you know what this is? You, you, you probably don't know what this is, so why am I asking you? 
This, this thing that occasionally spouts rainbows, this is a Ryzen 5950X. It's like, what is it, like 180 watt CPU? Here, the kilowatt, not the kilowatt, the APC down here shows that at idle. That's idle watts for my computer and my card here. I have water cooling in that because I wanted to be able to maximize how much I could get out of it. This thing has water cooling. I swear to God, it has water cooling and it has a tap that taps off the main motherboard for 12 volts. You can't make this shit up, people. You can't make this shit up. That means that it doesn't deliver the extra 12 volts the CPU needs separately. It just drains what comes in on here. And you know what, maybe that's fine. What does this have, a Celeron? What is this? Oh, a Core i7 8th Gen. What is it? What is it, a U or a Y or something? Is it a laptop chip? No, this has a standard socket. I don't know the exact CPU, but this has an i7 chip with water cooling. And this is how the chip is powered. This is where I think about this. This. I swear. I swear. Just, yeah, you said it, phone. You said it. I would never build a computer like this. I will never tell you to buy a computer like this. This is why I hate brand name PCs. This is why I hate OEM computers like this because this is this is the kind of crap that leads to some kind of premature failure of some sort maybe I don't know maybe the power supply is powerful enough maybe the wires are chunky enough I don't know I'm not I, but these look like pretty normal wires to me I mean and it probably works fine um, perfectly fine for the warranty period but you know yeah okay um, yeah, so we'll just move on. I've had my little baby rant. Uh, everybody knows now that I'm a man baby in a basement. That's that's why there's windows at ground level over there. Um, we'll just move on. To hell with all of this. All of this. Go to hell, Dell. Go to hell. Go to Dell hell. All right. Okay. So we need to shove hard drives in this thing. Uh, the guy removed his own hard drive. That's cool. I don't care. Where can we put a second real hard drive not not one of these not one of these little three and a half hard drive things where can we put a real hard drive in you I mean there's one bay but we've got two drives you want to put in so let's pretend that this computer didn't just show me that it's engineered to be a cheap POS and like can you put it in here I would, can we put it in here is there some way that we could possibly get this off and shove the drive up in here and hide it you know there's this gigantic chonky handle that I don't even know what's in it in fact I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna put a phone up to it and see if there's well I can't see any light coming through the vents on the top are they even real vents oh my god I don't think they're real vents are they so what is going on up there? Uh, there is a radiator and there's just a big chunky metal plate right here. So they take up all this extra space right here. And there's no room in there. There's not actually any room in there to do anything. So we can't put a drive there. We got to jerry-rig a drive in this thing somehow. Come on. Surely, oh, you piece of junk. You piece of junk. Oh, that's not great. I'm gonna have to tape that up. I hate these designs so much. I hate them so much. I have to say, I've only seen a few computers with a stupid design like this. Man, I'm getting really heated over here. I need to calm down. I'm gonna set this thing on fire. That'll, that'll be more entertaining. Just give me some electrical tape. Give me all the electrical tape. That'll do. So you got all chopped up when I went and shut it. Didn't cut the wires, but it cut a little bit of insulation right there on that one wire. Let's uh, let's pretend to be safe and actually, yeah. Let's isolate that wire first if we can. Piece of crap. Well, that's not really practical. It's only one wire, so let's just do it this way then. 
All right, so I'm gonna electrical tape this up so that it doesn't short anything. Of course, that's the least of our concerns given that it's doing this crap. And this is part of the problem with these Dell sort of fake tool list designs is that you, why is there a pinch point over here in the first place? Why is, why is this a thing? This shouldn't even be a thing that exists. Like, why can't you just make it so that the supply comes out? I'd rather take out four screws than have a nice tight hinge here that can carve something in half, like, say, a power wire that I'm yelling about. Just, it's a bad design all around. Well, anyway, let's put it back together and hope that the Dell gods are not too pissed off at my sacrilege and uh, move on because I am having a I'm having a day this morning and I I can't deal with it. All right, so we have succeeded at nothing. Um, we're gonna put a solid state in here. That's pretty obvious. There are two empty memory slots, so let's get cracking on that. What do you say? Maybe I could actually do my job instead of complaining for once. But that's no fun. You're not tuned into this stream to watch me actually do real work. You're tuned in to see this travesty take place. You want to drive by the car crash and see a severed head. You don't want to see a little dent in a Ford Focus and be like, oh, okay. Someone's got to die because then, if they don't, where does that leave you on a Friday night with your new high-speed internet connection? Subsidized by the United States government. I can't really see these slots, but we're going to put one in anyway. Okay, so it didn't go in that way. It didn't go in that way. This is DDR3, but it's an 8th gen. Okay, you son of a bitch. So he brought me 16 gigs of RAM, right? And that's DDR4. And he's like, can you put this 16 gigs of DDR3 in? No wonder it doesn't fit. Gee, I wonder. Let me. Can someone, can someone in the chat tell me why this doesn't work? I bet it's planned obsolescence. Yep. We're just gonna put this back. Pretend like I never even tried that. Never even tried it. Oh my god, and this guy wants his computer back today. I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna give him his computer back ever because it'd be better for his sanity if he didn't get it. Alright. So this thing, look, it's toolless. You don't have to actually screw anything down. And that normally sounds great on paper. It's just, you know, when tolerances aren't quite right because everything's a millimeter off or something that you have a problem. Now, I've still got to plug wires up to that at some point, right? Uh, there's... Oh my god, there's actually an optical drive? Yes, there's actually an optical drive up there. There's still enough room to shove a whole hard drive up there, but they've not provided a hole. No hole! My girlfriend says hello to my viewers. Yeah, I have one of those. No, she's not made up. No, it's totally real! Well, you're just, you just have no interest in the world. Does anybody even get that reference? God almighty, nobody gets that reference. I'm the only person who's watched that TV show a hundred times. All right. One solid state physically installed. No wires. We don't need wires. We don't need no stinking wires. We don't need no stinking wires, gringo. All right, am I cutting any wires in half? If I bring this guillotine down, I do not think so. Do I have room under this to put a hard drive anyway? Maybe, why is there painter's tape? Wait a minute, I just, I, I didn't say anything before, but I'm saying it now. Uh, why is there painter's tape? Why is there painter's tape? That's a good question. Why is there painter's tape? On, on this thing, right here, this, what? Okay, there's painter's tape covering the hard drive things. Also, this cover doesn't want to go back on. I love toolless designs, mostly because they don't go back together. So there's painter's tape on the wires. I guess he is afraid that something would short it out. I'm not entirely sure what to do with that. There's painter's tape on the data cable that doesn't carry 
power. There's what's going on here. There's painter's tape around this, and then there's painter's tape on this connect, but there's not painter's tape on this connector. You know, I'm not entirely sure why this exists. Um, I have a very bad feeling that someone was going to paint the inside of this computer until this drive situation didn't work out, and then it became a bit of a problem. Oh God, oh God. So look, I, I'm finally coming down from this high that I've gotten off of this crap. And I see Mike said, check for busted electrolytic caps. Yeah, Mike, every Optiplex you've seen has had them, but they're also probably 10 years old and had a Pentium 4 that drank 100 million watts of power to produce Pentium 2 levels of actual capability. So, no. Okay. Yeah, look, it doesn't stop. This train never stops. Let's check this out. It's the video card, right? Look at that. Look at that beauty right there. Look at it. What is this crap? So we got a six pin, and then we have an eight pin that taps off the six pin, and the eight pin taps itself for the eight, seventh and eighth pins. So, yeah, okay. So like everything is just like, you know what? We don't really care about the whole power delivery thing, which is, and, and you know what else just occurred to me is I don't actually see um, any way built in here to get power to a two and a half inch drive. So this computer comes with two and a half inch drive. Is this it? Did they just shove it up in there? Looks like that's it. Okay. Well, at least it's there. So I guess uh, I can't criticize them too much, although I can criticize them for what I'm about to have to do. Here, let's check this out. Check this out. Can you, you can't see it, can you? Because this thing's ugly and huge and you can't see the damn thing. So, oh no, it's one of those. Uh, so you can't see it on camera, I'm sure, but this, this little notch here and the notch here are aligned such that you have to put, you have to put, all right, let me just do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. I'll just show you. All right, here's a drive, right? Here's a drive. And I'm going to plug power into the drive. I'm going to use the end one because it's like, oh, the end one, it's, a, it's totally should be like, you know, and it's right angle. It's not straight off. So, oh, it won't come up, you know? It'd have to come way up to get in the way, right? Except, when I shove this in, oh. Uh, oh, oh, okay, here. Let me give you a little more camera so you can see that really. Here, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna, here, see that, you see that? Oh, oh, look at me, look at me. Ah, oh, look, I'm an engineer for Dell. Oh, I'm an asshole. I hate Jody. I, I need this solely to piss off Jody with this. Yeah. Yeah, Jody's an asshole, so I'm gonna do something about it. Uh, yeah. At least that's how I feel sometimes when I see this kind of stuff. It's just, it's amazing. It's amazing that the people who design this stuff are somehow able to not, like, impale themselves with a spoon and die somehow. So yeah, I have to yank the wire this way because it's pushing against the metal of the case right there. And where does this go? Oh, there's not really any good place for this to live now, this extra wire. And even if you did this, like, how are you supposed to do this? I'm, is it, does it go the other way? I think it goes the other way. So this isn't even supposed to go here. It's supposed to go there. Okay, so, all right, so we plug this one up. It's even worse, because now, not only do we have that going on, but it's sticking out this other way, too. Let's just rip the power connector off your stupid solid-state drive. I mean, if you bought an alien where you fucking deserve it. Yeah. All right, well... This basically offends every sensibility that exists in my senseless brain, but we'll move on. So, they've got this little bay right here that's covered with this plate. And I'm looking and I'm thinking, can I shove a hard drive in that bay? Would it fit? Well, no, it, it, it doesn't look like it's gonna fit very well if it does fit, but I bet I could rig it up. Let's see if I can rig it up. What do you say? Maybe I can get another hard drive. They've got another connector. There's two connectors. Surely that means that two hard drives can go in here, right? Oh, but I bet it's Dell. Ah, oh, yeah, it is Dell. 
<laughs> oh, it's Alienware. No, it's Dell. It's Dell and it's cheaply made and it's designed specifically to piss me off. So I guarantee you, once I actually get in here, who comes up with this stuff? Who comes up with this stuff? Where, what are you even stuck on, bro? Do you even lift? No, it doesn't lift. How is that stuck? You bastard. Delicious bastard. I'm gonna get you out. Yep. I don't even know what that was stuck on, but it's not anymore. So let's see if we can drop a hard drive in there. Come here, hard drive. Let's t oh, this came out of something else. Hang on. We have compact screws. Friggin' Torxes. Yeah, I have this and I've marked it with a permanent marker just to make sure that I can see the stupid. Let's do this not over this computer so that we don't uh, drop screws into the computer. Yeah, because that's always fun. I had a tiny, tiny Dell that came in. Very small form factor. And someone had uh, bought it or been given it with a solid state upgrade. And when I got it, it made a noise when I moved it. And when I opened it, flipped it over, and shook it like a like an infant that I'm angry at, something like three or four hard drive screws just fell out of it. Why they were there, I don't know. Oh, there's, yeah, there's some red wire here that goes down, actually. I'm guessing that powers the CD drive. Okay, so let's do this. First, we need to be a bit methodical, right? Did I just drop a screw in the exact thing that I said I was trying not to do? I totally just did that. Uh, so um, pay me to fix your computer. Clearly it will be done right for varying low standards of right. Um, yep. So let's put the hard drive in that's supposed to be here first. And then let's see if we can abuse this computer into having another hard drive in this spot that I don't think it will fit in, but nonetheless, he wants two drives. He's going to get them by any means necessary. Yeah, um, hey, I just looked at the chat and there's suggestions to cut things. Don't tempt me. I have a friggin' air grinder. I can do it. I don't want to do it. I would hate myself for doing it. You know what I just realized? I didn't check to make sure there were enough SATA ports. And there's no cables, so hang on. I have to get cables because it didn't come with any. I, I am not the sort of person that would ever have a bunch of SATA cables lying around for anything like this. I definitely haven't built any NASAs out of anything stupid, you know. I just, I did, here, here. All right, here's how you fix a Dell that doesn't have enough storage. Fixed. All right, next game. Yeah, man, look at my gaming computer. Oh, God, I don't even know if these cables are SATA 3, like, certified or whatever. I probably should go through all these one day. Yeah, I have a small collection from all the motherboards that I've put in, and nowadays, since nobody even, like anybody who's remotely sane buys a new motherboard, gets an NVMe solid state and doesn't have to deal with this crap. So yeah, oh hey, there's another one. So yeah, we're gonna, that one's a little long. So let's put these wires in and see what happens. All right. Yeah, charge extra for more labor? Nah, that's okay. So that's why I'm that's why I'm filming it. See, I don't need to charge extra for more labor. I just need to film it for more lulls. That is the appropriate response. When you are a mature adult like I'm not, you'll figure that out. So SATA Oh, the numbers are backwards too, and SATA 1 is actually behind that's not great. We'll have to change the boot order, but I don't care. I just want them all to be wired up so I can do that. Hey, I got injured. That's cool. Injuries are, are just uh, your body's way of telling you that you're working on a Dell. 
I also just realized when I say Adele, it could be interpreted as a computer company that makes shitty desktops, or it could be a cackling singer who is getting in trouble with um, social justice body positivity types for thinning out. It makes them uncomfortable. That is, that is a real news story. That's what passes for news today. Like, you know, what you, war overseas that we're being dragged into or something. Oh, that's fine. I'll put a little avatar up. Adele lost weight. Oh, that's fat phobic and we hate uh, the discomfort that that brings. She should be fat again. I don't even know that Adele was ever fat. I don't care about Adele. I don't care about Adele the singer. I don't care about Adele the manufacturer. Um, the only thing I care about is that I can't reach this SATA port because, well, this convenient tool is designed that prevents you from having to use any kind of tools to ever do anything, but makes your fingers bleed a lot. A lot. I don't know what I'm doing with this crap. This, I mean, like, when I'm looking at this, my main goal is get the drive in at all. But, um, like physically in at all, and then worry about attaching it to something. So let's just trial some of this. So it, the drive fits without wires plugged in. There's actually room over here where wires could be plugged in. I might be able to make this the most shameful thing I've probably ever done in my life, to be completely honest, actually work. I mean, I'm gonna feel dirty later. I'm, I'm gonna feel like I've been sullied, like I've been shown a time I'll never forget, but wish I could, but, but it'll be in there, I guess. <laughs> <sighs> All right, I know I'm not funny, but I think I am. That's okay. We can't all be professional funny people. <sighs> okay, someone needs to help me. I don't know which TV show or movie or whatever it's from, but there's something I remember from my youth where a guy was talking about funny, and they said funny ha-ha or funny quirr. And I don't remember the context or any of that. I just remember that one line and that's it. And I feel kind of bad about it, but I wonder what it's from. So if someone knows who said that, where it was, let me know. I, uh, it's dumb, but I still want to know. Oh, to, oh, to be a child who grew up in the 1990s back when things could still be relatively funny. I still remember half sleeping on my leather trench coat on the floor in advanced math class, listening to my Sony Walkman, Dennis Leary's No Cure for Cancer. Oh, that, those were the days. So this is, um, if I get this to fit, it's probably gonna be even worse than everything that I say Dell is. So I'm not sure about this. Oh, Christ. Oh! Kaiser Hound. Visions of a sledgehammer. Stay there. me motherfuckers don't tempt me some people have religion I have a 10 pound fiberglass handled sledgehammer. All right. So if I get this thing to fit at all, it's probably, 
You know, I think this might be a lost cause. There is just... Hey, which one of you said something about cutting things? Because that might be what I have to do. Is there an audio delay, really? So while the drive physically fits, it doesn't actually go in there properly. So we may, we may be forced to just deal with it. I mean, I have other possibilities. I really want to shove it in this big empty spot with no ventilation first. But um, I could put it over here if I can get the feet off, I think. All I need is to get one screw. That's it. One screw, and I'm good to go. I don't care after that, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to get that. So the right angle connector for this hard drive is blocking this hard drive from going in. So what I want to try to do is pull this just long enough to get this drive forcibly crammed in here against the wishes of its family. No, I don't I don't think this is going to work. But I'm going to try everything that I can. Yeah, see this connector right here, even if it was right angle, it just wouldn't fit. So this isn't going to work. There's nowhere else to put this right here. Let's abort this. Yeah. Um, I'm either going to tell him to use it as an external or give up. Um, my inclination is to give up, but yeah. Maybe we can get it over there. I don't know. Those holes are actually too small to fit a screw through, so. And it wouldn't have ventilation even if it did. What if we did? What if we shoved it over here? What if we shove it back here? Can, will it fit there? No. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That, that is sitting on the motherboard. So even if I got it in there, there's no way. No way. You're not fitting two normal hard drives in this case. So if you want more than, what, 16 terabytes of spinning rust, you better either bring a couple extra laptop drives or give up. All right, so we tried that. We gave it we gave it our best, and by our best, I mean I, uh, you know, shoved some things, and they shoved back, and I cried and went home. So, oh well, whatever. I give up. Screw it. All right. That's what happens when you buy an Alienware, man. If you if this was a standard case that didn't have all this toolless crap, I would not have this problem at all. You know what? I'm not even leaving my SATA cable in here. I am that. I don't even need it. I just don't want to give it away. I hoard SATA cables because my life depends on having a nice collection of them. Just in case I ever find something to do with the giant stack of laptop hard drives I keep around as a security blanket. And you think I'm joking. I actually have a giant stack of one terabyte laptop drives from where I've done solid state upgrades. Yeah. Alright, so this thing provides directions. And those directions are stupid. So you were in there somehow. Get in there, son of a bitch. I don't have time for this. What is it that is just, oh, there's a tab there. That's what's going on. Now who comes up with this crap? Why is there a tab there at all? So let me get this straight. This tab, this tab here, there's a little tiny tab. You may not even be able to see it. But this little tab here was bent. That's why it wouldn't come out, because it was bent. But if it was straight, it would just go in like that, and I wouldn't have nearly as much trouble. But um, any of you who are aware of the manufacturing process used to make these Dell computers, during the assembly of these computers, one of the things that they install that makes them somewhat different, unique even, compared to every other manufacturer, is they include just, just a touch of hate. Just a little drop of hate right there, I believe, is where the hate landed on this computer. So, yeah. All right, let's just cram it all back. So, he's not getting that second drive because there's literally nowhere to put it. Um... And I'm not giving him one of my laptop drives. He doesn't need all this space. What? What is he even doing? He's not pirating that much stuff. He's not filming 4K videos for other people to laugh at. So the RAM didn't go. The second hard drive didn't go. 
Um, and now we have to do the worst thing of all, which is try to get this damned case to shut. <sighs> okay, all right. I want you to look at this. Look at this with me. Look, okay, these things all have to kind of fall into some slots, right? Except, all right. Let's see. So, I need to close this thing up, but the problem is, uh, how? How do you even do it? And you would think it would be fairly obvious, but the problem is all this extra crap obscures how it actually goes together. So it kind of seems like it, you should be, okay, and look, I've got it, right? Right, I've got it, except I don't. Because it's, it's off over here somewhere. Except now I have it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, piece of crap. Lock the locks on the back. That keeps all the evil spirits out so that they don't take out the hard drive you just installed. Oh, I hate this computer so much. And there you go. I have now expanded the storage on the monolith from 2001 A Space Odyssey. Okay. Now I have to install Windows 10. I don't really want to. I don't really want to look at this computer anymore after this. I feel very dirty. But uh, yeah, there you go. So. <sighs> so here we are. I'm just going to move the camera so that you can look at my pretty face for a second. All right. Chat people. Oh, that's not good enough? Oh, okay. I understand. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been an interesting day. The person who just uh, dropped off, they dropped off a bunch of VHS tapes, and I'm gonna convert them to digital. <clears throat> when they did so, they said, "Can you do eight millimeter?" And I said, "Oh yes, I have an eight millimeter camcorder I use to capture eight millimeter tapes." And they said, "Well, my sisters are coming over with a box full of them." So now I'm going to have to capture a million tapes as well. Ah, oh, it's going to be fun. All right. Let's 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 do some chat stuff real quick. Heart attack levels of anxiety. I'm kind of playing it up for the camera a little bit, but only a little bit. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, Jesus. Let's see what you got here. I'm just scrolling up. You can see me scrolling up. You don't even need me to tell you that. What the freak with this audio? I, is there really something wrong with my audio? Holy crap. Look, okay, my audio sucks. I don't have a microphone hooked up to this thing right now. Here's what I'm going to do. Just for you guys, I'm going to take this string.